Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Microsoft Excel Tutorials video, we are going to see the different shortcuts that are associated with the control keys in Microsoft Excel. Now, throughout our video tutorials that we have covered up till now, we have taken a look at various actions and also I have told you about the various shortcut keys that could be substituted for them to make your tasks easy and reduce your time. But now onwards, we are going to cover some videos in which we are going to just talk about these shortcuts and what is their usage. So in today's video, I'm going to cover the control shortcuts from the keys A to Z. That means control A, control B, up to control Z. There are 26 letters in the English alphabet, but there are 24 shortcuts of these control keys available to us as control J and control M have no shortcuts. So let us start. First of all is control A, which is used for select all. If your active cell is inside the Excel sheet like this and you press control A, then whole of your sheet would be selected. But if there is a particular table, like this is my table and I have my active cell inside this table. Now, if I press control A, then only this table would be selected. Next, we have control B, which is used to make any text bold, like I have written text over here. So if I just press control B, while the focus is on that particular cell, the text becomes bold. And similarly, if I again press control B, the text becomes back to normal. Control C is for copy. I have cop uh, my existing cell. So I press Control C. This means the text has been copied and you can see with these dancing arrows. If you want to confirm, you can just go to here, the top left corner in the clipboard and you can see text is written in the clipboard, which means that yes, we have text in the clipboard. And if we just press Control V, it would be pasted any uh, number of times that we want simply then we have control d for fill down now uh, you all are familiar with the concept of custom lists if we type here jan and uh, i just extend it then all the months would be filled which is a uh, uh, due to the concept of the custom lists but what if we do not want these months we want jan to be filled in all then we have to use this control d option for fill down so suppose i write jan again here and then i select uh, all these cells up to which i want to fill and then press control d then you can see all of them are filled with jan then we have control e for flash fill now we all know what is flash fill so suppose i have the days of the week written here from monday till sunday now i want to extract the first three letters so i give it a pattern like m o n for monday and similarly i want for all these days so i gotta select this and press ctrl e then this will flash fill with the pattern that has been given to it with all these things so that was a shortcut of ctrl e then we have control f for find if we just press control f and we want to find something suppose i type in jan and i click on find next then you can see all these occurrences of jan are uh, highlighted one by one but if you click on find all then you will see that there is this list given with the book name sheet name and the cell number where the value could be find and it will also give you the total occurrences of that particular word here are 13. Similarly, we have control G for go to. If you are in any particular cell, right now I'm in K16 and I want to go to G7. So I press control G and I will type the name of the cell that is G7 and I click on OK. Then you can see my cursor moved to G7. Then we have control H for replace like in Jan, uh, like in find, we are having replacement. Suppose instead of Jan, I want to type say January and I can click on find next to find out that particular occurrence that I want 
to replace or I can click on find all and click on that particular occurrence. I want to replace i7. I click on replace and one occurrence is replaced. Otherwise, if I clicked on replace all, then all the occurrences would have been replaced. Then we have control I for italics. If there is a particular cell focused and you press control I, then its contents would become italics. Control J has no shortcut. Uh, control K is used to insert a hyperlink. Suppose we have this text and I press control K, then it would ask me to insert a hyperlink, which we have already covered in detail, but it is shortcut. So if I just click over here, that video would be played that I have associated. Then control L is used to insert a table. Suppose I have selected this data range and I press control L. Then it asks me that whether uh, this is the data that you want for your table. I click on OK and you can see that my table has been created. And uh, I can just press control Z for undo just now. Then control M has no shortcut again. Control N is used to open a new workbook. I just press control N and you can see book one is a new workbook that has been opened. So I come back to my original workbook. Then control O is used to open an existing workbook that is already present in your uh, system. So I just press control O and you can see I have a list of these workbooks which I can open. Suppose I open this workbook that is slicers on charts. So you can see that I have opened a workbook using control O. Now control P is used to print the existing workbook. If I just press control P, then you can see that we have got this print menu, which already has been covered in detail, but you can uh, manipulate all these things as per your wish. And it has been divided into two pages. The content of our sheet has been divided into two pages and we can print it from here. And you can see the page breaks are also available right now. Then we have control Q, which is used for the quick analysis tab. Now, what is this? If your data is selected like this and you press control Q, then this quick analysis tab will open. And using this tab, you can insert totals, you can insert tables, you can insert charts, you can insert spark lines, you can apply formatting and so on. Then we have control R that is used to fill right. Now, this is similar to what we had done in fill down. Suppose we have Monday written over here and if we just extend it like this, okay, like this, so it would um, just fill it according to the custom list. But what if we do not want that? So what we are going to do is actually just select the cells up to which we want filling and press control R for right fill and all these things would be filled to the right like this. Similarly, for a set of data, you can also click like this and press Ctrl R and all of them would be filled like this. Like for Tuesday, all are filled right. For Wednesday, all are filled right and so on. Okay, so that was Ctrl R. Then we have Ctrl S that is used to save. I have made some changes in my workbook and I press Ctrl S so it would be saved but nothing is visible. So let's go to some new workbook. This was my new workbook and I just press Ctrl S. So it will take me to save as where I can browse for a place and I can save it over there. So I'm not going to save it right now, but that's how it works. Then we have control T, which is again used to insert a table like control L. You can select the table, press control T and click on OK and the table would be created. Control U is used to underline a particular word like this. You can see it's been underlined right now. Control V is used to paste the text. Uh, which we have already covered. Control W is used to close a workbook. If you just go to this workbook and press Control W, it would be closed because no changes were made. So let's make some changes in this workbook and press Control W. Then it would ask you that, uh, do you want to save your changes? I click on don't save and now it has been closed without saving the changes. Control X is used to cut a text. Suppose I press Control X. So the text is cut it from there and it has been pasted over here. Control Y is used to redo an action which has been undone before. Like I just press Control X and paste Control V December over here. Then I press Control Z. So it would be like this, but I press Control Y and the action would be redone. 
so control z is for undo and control y is for redo these two work uh, according to each other if there is an action that has been undone in the past then only it could be redone so control y only works if you have previously worked with control z so that is all with today's video in which we covered about all the control shortcuts in microsoft excel i hope you all have enjoyed this video thanks for watching